sorting them out and I'm sure this race is going to be no exception. A very big field, including one or two of the top names in Bangor Racing. The English champion is here, the world champion is here, and Father Christmas is here as well, as you can see, albeit a little late. Big, strong cars like the Rover there, and uh, smaller, less substantial ones as well. And here they come, over the crossroads, the green flag is down, and we're on our way to find a holder for this Golden Helmet Award. And one of the track marker tyres is already jammed under those front wheels as they force their way across there. The Jag decides the grass is a better place to go. I think you'll find that uh, there's not a lot of grip out there this afternoon. Large tractor tyres jammed underneath the front suspension don't help too much anyway. But it looks like the English champion who's gone straight into the lead, I think it's 129 who is uh, right into the lead. Here he comes, Mick Conlon. Straight into the lead. Number 20, Roger Wilkinson is chasing him in second place. And we go back to uh, a great big princess, followed by a big heavy rover. But it's 129 in the lead at the moment. Mick Conlon from Chertsey, the 1980 and 81 English champion. Here comes Father Christmas in the uh, guise of 125 Dick Dawkins. Meanwhile, the English champion goes through, 129. Still number 20, Roger Wilkinson is chasing him. Here comes the big princess, car number 152. That's Graham Poulter from Southwick. Basho, as he's known, Basher is chasing him, Gordon Cool from Brighton in 5.10. And they're riding about fourth and fifth at the moment. There's the leader, 129. The white roof with the red cross of St George denoting the English championship title. He's also the southern champion, knows his way around a bit. Roger Wilkinson chasing him in uh, number 20, in fact, right alongside him. And there's trouble there for 4.04, is uh, upside down. And that's going to be problems for him. Just trying now, he's wiping the muck out of his eyes, I think. That's 5-1-2, who has got some problems there, not least of which is that he's now stuck in the mud, off the track. Through go those big cars, and that driver is upside down. I don't know how long he's going to stay there. I don't know whether he's got problems getting his belts under. Oh, he's just released his belts. Question is whether he can get out. There's the lead car, 129. In fact, Roger Wilkinson has nipped ahead of him. 20 is now the leader. There he is. The highly coloured car just in front of 129. Here they come. Number 20, Roger Wilkinson. And 129, Mick Conlon. That's the 1-2. And that driver desperately trying to get out of there at the moment. One twenty-five scrambles out. Through they go, and Roger Wilkinson has got problems. Roger Wilkinson has now got problems, a lot of steam, a dented front end, and it looks as if he's out. 129, Mick Conlon getting bashed around sideways as well, and he's meanwhile on the grass and trying to recover. 122, the driver's OK. At long last, someone has, uh, has spotted that he's dangling there on his belts, but he's OK, but it is a slightly dangerous position, but now they're getting him out. Now, while all that's been going on, I think it's going to be 129, he's probably still there. 122 was in second place. <laughs> oh dear, he's dead keen. So 414 is out and all okay. Very relieved. There's 152 still crashing his way around. Graham Poulter, balloons flaring. He's uh, about in fourth place at the moment. 122 is now the leader. 371 is second. 419 is third. And 152 is fourth. I think that's the order now. The track is really getting somewhat restricted. We're down to about one car width just on one side of the crossroads. We'll try and find this leader for In fact, 371 has now gone. 371 has now gone up into the lead. That's Phil Hazel from Flipwell. 12-lap event this, five more to go. 371 and 152 is second. That's the big princess with all the balloons. That's the second place, man. Three seven one is the leader. That, of course, is our track rat. Oh, one five two has just got the chop. 
152 has just spun around. If he can get back in quickly, he should be OK. But it's 371, Phil Hazel from Flimwell in the hearse. There he is, King Rat. That's the guy who's in the lead. It's amazing how that thing handles. You never normally see cars like that going at that speed. Albeit a little undignified. Slight steering problems for 152. You won't like that because uh, Graham Poulter, one of the keen drivers who really likes to get, get stuck in. He was in second place. There's three more laps to go. Bacon crossroads at the moment. There's 152 just dragging himself across. Here comes the leader. There he is, just going through the crossroads now. The orange hearse. With three more to go for him. And 129, Mick Conlon has really got problems. The front of the car is stoved in, a lot of steam, but he's keeping going. That's 129. He, in fact, is in second. He's gone back into second place now. So 371 is the leader. 129 is second. 118 is third. And world champion 87, Nick Linfield, is, uh, as I speak, in fact, 129 has now dropped back. So with two more laps to go, it's 371 who is the leader. That's Phil Hazel. 118 has gone into the second position. That's uh, Sean Alsop. And in third place, it's world champion 87, Nick Linfield. Things happening fast, but it's still the hearse that's there, and here he comes. And he's got himself quite a lead. And that sort of tyre is not going to lead him anywhere, I'm afraid. They don't give up for little things like that. Into the final lap now for 371. Phil Hazel. Coming to the crossroads. He's only got to run the gauntlet of that crossroads just once more now. Down into the bottom bend he goes. A few back markers. Whoops. Cuts through on the inside. Bit naughty. 118 leans all over him. But the checkered flag is at the ready as he comes over to the crossroads now. Here he comes. And it's 371. Now, the others are some way behind, so we'll uh, probably find the race goes on for a little while yet. There's 129, he's not giving up. He was going very well there. Now, we're looking for 87, Nick Linfield, and here he comes now. Champion of the world, coming through to take the second place. And the third man home, with any luck, if he can just last a little bit longer, is going to be car number 118, Sean Forsoff. Four main ones, anyway, in the camera. So. Coming up now, the crossroads, where, of course, all the trouble ensues once the rest of the field get round. But at the moment, you can still see there's problems, nevertheless. A lot of mud, a slippery track, 30-odd cars, a bit of pushing and a bit of shoving, and you've got figure of eight banger racing. 1-2-2 two, two is the leader at the moment from that uh, melee. Trevor Newland from Wallington. One or two puddles, as you can see. Some get going better than others. I think 4 all 75 is going too far because he's already got himself a punch of Mariato from Bexhill. Now the leaders begin to catch up with the tail enders at the crossroads. Nick Linfield, the world champion, just nipping through there. Let's see if we can pick up some places for you now. 122, 129, 188 were the first three a moment or two ago. 122, 129, and 188. Oh, the Christmas is parked in the middle there, as you saw. There's Roger Wilkinson in number 20. Oh, that's the way 
to turn them round at the crossroads. And like that. Slight change. Oh, he's going the way he was pushed to. That's a bit naughty. He's going to chop out the whole half lap after that chap turned him round. 3.29. He's got uh, quite a few problems as well. A couple of big, heavy tank-like rovers raunching their way around there. 39 is Barry Keenan from Camberley. Some, you see, take the careful approach. That's like Nick Linfield, who's just gone through in 87. Others, well, they just put their foot down, go for the crossroads and hope. Three laps have gone. 188 has now uh, moved up into lead position. Jimmy Breakspear. See if we can find him in a moment. Another steaming rover. They really are strong cars, those ideal for this particular job. There's not much more that can be open on that. The bonnet, two of the doors, only wants the boot to start flapping, and he's, uh, he's got the set. Ah, there's a, a keen ITV fan. Dickie Davis rules OK on Crazy Kermit. Someone else has got other ideas about that because he's now helping him across the crossroads in that great big princess. I straightened him up. Oh, and sorted him out as well. Look at that pile of bent metal. And the crossroads really is somewhat blocked. No, there's a way through on the inside. Oh, they only just made it that time. Room to get one car through, they'll go through. Is he going through the middle? Oh, he's made it too! There can't be very much room in there. Let's breathe in, got it. Well, now, 87 has now shot into the lead. Nick Linfield is now the leader. Six laps gone in this 12 lap event. 188 has gone down to second, so it's 87 and 188. Here he comes, world champion, won the title here on this track at Wimbledon uh, back in September. Relatively little damaged, I think half of that, of course, is the technique, if you can keep yourself out of trouble. Over the crossroads he goes, and he's definitely got a flat, I think, on that front. Front near side, yes, he has. So that must be slowing him down. Now, 188 is not that far behind him, in fact. He's slowing down considerably now, and 188 is definitely making up ground. There's Mick Conlon, 129, the English champion. And he must be coming up fairly fast as well. Yes, in fact, he's third. So, 87 is the leader, 188 is second, 129 is third, and 510 comes next. So, if you see any of those go through, you'll know where they are. 87, Nick Linfield. Like helping hand there. And there's 188, there's Jimmy Breakspear. And he's going quite well. He's now about 30 yards behind a considerably ailing Nick Linfield in 87. Here's 188. He's going to get a help from behind any moment, I think. He's got tyre problems as well. He's got a puncture in exactly the same wheel as, in fact, Nick Linfield has got. Front near side. Believe it or not, it does have an effect on the steering, even in these conditions, with everybody pushing and shoving. That tyre's not going to stay on there very much longer, but he doesn't care because he's closing very fast indeed on 87, Nick Linfield. There's Nick, and coming up uh, right behind... And, in fact, we've lost... We've lost our uh, second-place man. 188 has just ground to a halt somewhere, I think. He's in the middle of that pile-up. Jimmy Breakspear suddenly disappeared. He was just about to catch Nick Linfield, but suddenly he disappeared. There's two more laps to go, and 87 is still the leader. 129, Mick Conlon was third. He's dropped right out of it now, so it's 87. I think it must be 510. Gordon Cool, who must be moving up into the next place by now. We're in the closing stages. There's one more lap to go for the leader. And there's... Uh, 87, Nick Linfield, he's still managing to keep going. Only just... He 
He's getting a bit of a help from 2-2-3. 5-1-0 is second. And in fact, Nick Linfield is virtually ground to a halt. While we're watching these cars, Nick Linfield has ground to a halt. Yeah, Frederick Wilkinson's just got a terrific whack in number 20 from 4-1-9. And that's Sir Ralph Bellamy. But 87 is back in and going again. And we're looking for 5-1-0, Gordon Cool somewhere. And there he is. There's Gordon Cool, and someone is on fire in the crossroads, right in the middle, so it's all happening as the leader just goes flashing through. Half a lap to go for Nick Linfield. Well, we'd like to go out in a burst of glory, but I don't know about a burst of flame. A very battered-looking motor there, very sick indeed is 510. Nick Linfield is coming through, 87 has just come through to take the flag. And 510 Gordon Cool is still to come to complete. A little way to go. There's 87. That's the man who in fact has won. And 510 Gordon Cool, if he manages to drag his way around, will in fact come home to take the second place. But there we are with the uh, flames and fire. It's a great win for the world champion who's come through it all. 87, Nick Linfield.